Have you ever come across giga, mega, kilo, milli, micro, nano, pico? These are multiples and submultiples. You see, multiples like giga, 10 to, power minus, 10 to power 9, mega, 10 to power 6, kilo, 10 to power 3, milli, 10 to power minus 3. These are submultiples now because they're smaller numbers. Um, micro 10 to power minus 6, nano 10 to power minus 9, and pico 10 to power minus 12. And that's all they mean. So when you see a G, it stands for giga, and then it means 10 to power 9. And that goes for all of them. So you can see, whenever you see the G for giga, just replace it with 10 to power Nine. The M for mega, replace it with 10 to power 6. The K for kilo, replace it with 10 to power 3. So just in your calculation, on your calculator, just replace it. And uh, that's what you type into your calculator. Uh, milli 10 to power minus 3, micro 10 to power minus 6, nano 10 to power minus 9, and pico 10 to power minus 12. If you write it out in full, it's going to come out with the number of zeros that is the power. So for instance, 89 gigapascals. That is 89 times 10 to the power 9 pascals, and that's 89 with 9 zeros on it. 45 mega, 45 times 10 to the power 6, so the mega is 10 to the power 6, and that means you add six zeros onto it. 2.2 kilo. 2.2 times 10 to the power 3. You add two zeros on because of the decimal point. So you just multiply by a thousand. Now, when you get to the sub multiples, which is the negative powers, you move the decimal point the other way. So in the multiples, you've moved the decimal point from here nine places to the right. You've moved the decimal point from here, six places to the right because 10 to the power 6. You move the decimal places from here, three places to the right. But when you come to the sum multiples, decimal point goes the other way. So here you have 10 to the power minus 3. So the decimal point goes from here and it goes 1, 2, 3. It goes three places to the left. So the zeros fall on the left. 10 to the power minus 6, the decimal point goes from here and it goes 6 places to the left. So it goes 1, 2, 3, and then you add some more zeros in until you get to 6 places. Same for 10 to the power 9, ten, same for 10 to the power 12. This is a practical example now. So, how do we use multiples and sub multiples in a calculation? This is very important in any examination, any test, and any assignment. So we have a um, simple formula here, Ohm's law, um, current is voltage divided by resistance. Here we have a voltage of 20 volts, but a resistance of uh, 500 kilo ohms. So 20 volts, 500 kilo ohms, how are we going to put this kilo into our calculator? Remember it's 10 to the power 3. Kilo is 10 to the power 3. So we replace the kilo, the K, with 10 to the power 3. And we put this in our calculator and that's what we get. So it's as simple as that. Now, if you had to convert this, this uh, number, to a sum multiple, like a uh, milli, micro, or what? How do you do that? So here you have a decimal point here. So that's the answer from the calculator. That's our current. That's fine. So here you have a decimal point here. And remember, when you have, uh, whenever you move the decimal point to the right, it comes with a negative power. So when you move the decimal point, the decimal point was at the end of the number, and you move it to the left, it comes with a positive power. So the number, the power is the number of spaces you move it. So in order to convert this from amps to milliamps, I have to move this decimal point three times. One, two, and three. 
so moving it three times remember that will go to the decimal comes point comes from here it's now one two three it's now over here so it's now zero point zero four zero point zero four and then because I've moved it three places I have to say times 10 to the power minus 3 amps but remember 10 to the power minus 3 amps is milliamps so remember that 10 to the power minus 3 and milli are the same so I can replace this 10 to the power minus 3 with milliamps and that's how you would convert from amps to milliamps another example here so here we have the current in microamps and we have uh, resistance in kilo ohms. So how do we put that in our calculator? So voltage, this is Ohm's law, voltage is current times resistance, so 100 microamps times 500 kilo ohms. Remember we can't put micro and kilo directly into our calculator, so we just make a simple swap. Remember micro, according to our table, was 10 to power minus 6 and kilo is 10 to power 3 so you put this in your calculator 100 times 10 to power 6 which represents the micro and 500 times 10 to power 3 which represents the kilo the amps and the ohms are the units so that would not go in the calculator and when you put down your calculator you get 50 volts because volts is a unit for voltage this v is vo voltage which is th this from the, uh, the cell and this v is different this v is the unit so that v represents the voltage in the circuit and that v represents the volts which is a unit of voltage now i hope this helps you can go over the video again and you can uh, ha have some practice on some of the questions